the power of graphene that it can be uh, fabricated on the thin, thin film of plastic, just with plastic like this. So you can have your mobile phone as thin as this and as flexible as this as well. As thin as that? Yes, and as flexible. So you can fold it, you can put it in your bag. That's it. I think in the near future we are talking about five years or something like this. So in five years you will see the full mobile phone which is based on these things. For example, every time we think something, we move part of our brain. No? Mother, when we think of speaking, the muscle, they create an activity in the motor cortex. So we are able to decode this, even if the patient is not able to pronounce a word, we can say, okay, this activity means love. No? So we translate the computer, decode this activity and repeat love. So that's, that's basically the concept behind it. No? Currently, this technology of mapping the, the brain activity uh, of group of neurons on the brain already exists, but on rigid technology. So the goal here is to have a ultra-thin, flexible devices that can be applied on top of the skull and be chronically implanted. And here, graphene, because graphene is a 2D crystal that is flexible, very rigid, chemically stable, and has amazing electrical properties. So all these together combined create a fantastic sensor that can be implanted in the body and left there chronically. It's very easy because you know it's just like a piece of either a fabric or a plastic. We can do both and then it can directly either be a part of your shoe or else it can be made into a shoe sole which you can put in any of your shoe and then just uh, wear and go and have all the data instantaneously on your mobile phone or a computer.